All right, what is going on, guys? As I mentioned in my last YouTube video, I was going to do a class setup video, but the issue that I have right now is a respawn in this game isn't viable yet. The spawns aren't good. Pro players haven't started playing aids or scrims or anything, so I haven't even touched competitive hardpoint yet. The only thing that I know is the rotations from pubs, which, like, a week into the game isn't, <laughs> like, an optimal situation. So... It's like Black Ops 3 at the end. Everybody's just playing S&D uh, S&D tourneys right now, so there's nothing really I can give you guys about respawn. But I can, however, give you my S&D classes. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get right into it. All right, class number one. Excuse me. Before I get into all of this, I need to tell you guys two things. One, the Volk is probably the gun that everybody's going to be using until Infinity Ward decides that it needs to get nerfed. And then the other one is the M1, but that gets kind of gentleman's agreement hid out of the way um but anyway back to the class number one got your volk uh i prefer elo on most weapons uh the thing about elo or uh the k-bar i'll you know i'll eventually get into it just touch on it really quickly uh iron sight is actually really good on this gun so elo is kind of unnecessary but anyway back to number one your normal attachments grip quick draw and stock you can however take off one of those and throw on particle amp which is equivalent to long barrel um now the thing about this weapon is it's also an energy weapon, so you can like bounce it off of walls and shit. I was playing an S&D tourney the other day, and I was getting like ricocheted through around a wall, and I was like actually losing my mind. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, you know, normal stuff. And then you have your EMC. Now, your only two pistols you can use are the Kendall 44 and the EMC. I like the EMC because I have a really good trigger finger. It doesn't have a cap on its fire rate, so it's like the MR6 from Black Ops 3. That was my baby, as you guys know. So, getting into the perks. You only need three perks in this game. One, Blast, uh, blast Shield, which is like Flak Jacket, Tack Resist, Tack Mask, and Dead Silence. Now, the thing about perks is you can get rid of two of them and leave Dead Silence. And then you can create a four-attachment gun like I have here. I'll get there in a second. Uh, moving down, I have the K-Bar with ELO. Now, like I said, you actually can get rid of your sight because the iron sight on this gun looks like ELO. So you can you, you can mess around with the, without the sight and maybe throw in a nade or something like that. But uh, normal attachments, once again, like I said, take off long barrel. Or you can put on long barrel, excuse me, for one of those. Um, that's kind of the same theme and layout throughout all of my classes. Now you get into the four attachment ARs. I have an NV4 here. Now, I like the NV4 more for playing slow, more for picks because it's really accurate. And putting on long barrel really increases the damage where it lacks without because if you take an NV4 into uh, a rush play call, then you're kind of going to get screwed because everybody should have like a K-bar or a Volk because the damage is really high, the fire rate's really high. It's really good for close quarters engagements or, you know, just moving quickly throughout the map. Uh, NV4 is more of a setup gun in my opinion. Um, but yeah, throwing four attachments there. Take off your first two perks, leave dead silence, and then you're good to go. Now you can do that with all of the ARs in this game, which is something that has not been able to be done before. Because if you put four attachments on an AR in a different Call of Duty, your class kind of got messed up a little bit. Uh, moving on to my sniper class, I haven't really... I've sniped in this game, but I haven't experimented with a sniper class per se. I kind of just like threw on the first couple things that I saw that I thought would be good. So I have variable, and I changed the reticle to put on hex because I don't really like the default. Uh, I have quick draw, and then I have my EMC, a blackout grenade, which actually made me think that my monitor uh, turned off the first time that I got hit by it. Uh, I have dexterity on, so I can switch to my pistol a little bit faster, and then the uh, the normal three perks. I have my M1. Now the M1 kills in two bullets from anywhere on the map, like 95% of the time. This gun usually gets agreed upon not to be used because it's it would just turn into like eight m1s even though now it's just eight volks but the gun's really dumb uh if it does get through however 100 percent use it it's actually crazy um my k-bar four attachment class through on long barrel and my m1 four attachment class through on long barrel as well the thing about the m1 is just throw an extended mag because you can't reload it you actually have to empty the clip in order to reload so you can kind of get screwed there sometimes so make sure you have extended mags on but uh, the thing in this game that most people don't do is use stuns and nades. Now, the thing about like the perk system in this game, if you only have one perk on, you have four attachments on your ARs, that opens you up to getting cluster fucked, no pun intended, by cluster nades, like blackout nades, stuns, flashes, all that stuff. 
So if you see somebody on the team ha is like just being full selfish, stacking their weapon like that, make sure you guys take advantage of that. Now, back to the beginning of the video when I said that I wanted to make respawn classes, but like I will do it when I can really, when teams start practicing, when my team starts scrimming, when I have my hands on some hard point, I know what's good, I know what's bad. I kind of know that now. It's like it's gonna be the the ARs and respawn are really just gonna be the K bar, the NV4 and the Volk maybe. I think the Volk's more of an SND weapon, but we'll see as the game progresses. But anyway, getting a little bit off topic. That's my class setup for SND guys. Um, it's really just for your variation of perks and four attachment ARs. If you want to take off those perks, throw on a stun and a nade, things like that. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. Now that I've been playing the game for a while, I do enjoy it, but like I said, I need I want to play some respawn, man. My heart my heart yearns for it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Thank you guys for watching the video. Stream will be live later today. Take it easy, guys.